Hello everyone. Welcome back to Power Topic. So last time we talked about um, how to leverage the templates provided in the Power Automate uh, platform uh, to create a flow uh, very easily uh, and quickly. So using templates, we created a, a, a flow quickly to create copy, uh, to, to copy files between uh, Dropbox and SharePoint. And um, we did explore uh, multiple templates available um, in the platform. Uh, so today what, what I'm going to talk about is, um, I'm going to talk about two things. One is to accept how we can accept input parameters into our flow. Uh, and then we are going to talk about the uh, expressions framework. So let's talk about the input parameters. So typically you trigger a workflow using a power up um, interface or a SharePoint trigger such as an item or a document uh, in a list or library. Um, so when you are triggering a flow uh, from a power up interface or a SharePoint list or library, you can capture those information such as the fields available in the Power App form, um, as well as the metadata related to your item or document in SharePoint list or library. Uh, you can capture them as input parameters into the flow. Uh, so the people who are participating in the flow can use those input data uh, uh, in order to take the right actions, in order to make the right choice. So today I'm going to talk about how you can trigger a flow manually um, and how you can accept input parameters uh, into a flow when you are triggering a flow manually when there is no power up integration or when there is no uh, sharpen integration. So that's the first part of the video and then we will talk about the expressions and um, uh, how we can utilize the uh, expression framework available in the uh, Power Automate platform. So let's go into new flow and instance cloud flow option and then you will have um, a trigger call manually trigger a flow um, using a flow button um, and let's give a name to the flow uh, and say create. Now this uh, flow has a trigger called manually trigger a flow uh, and when you select the trigger you will see there is a section called parameters and then you can start adding parameters and what kind of parameters you can add uh, it could be a simple text field could be a true false yes no uh, input attaching a file capturing a user or an email uh, numbers date or date ranges uh, so those are the kind of parameters you can uh, incorporate. So let's start with um, a date. Um, let's say uh, from date. Um, then we'll add another one to date. Um, we'll try to capture user. Uh, and then we can say eraser, right? A simple leave uh, request capturing process let's assume and then reason I want to make it as an optional so by default all the fields you enter here enter here are uh, mandatory um, and you can make the field optional by selecting this so there's no visual um, indication whether they are mandatory or optional so only way you can figure it out is by looking at this message right and in order to save these parameters you need to add at least one action over here so let's add um let's add compose for example uh, and then um, uh, what we can do in in the compost we can try and actually access those input parameters right so how do you do that so here you have option called enter data from previous step so whatever the input parameters we incorporated here uh, we can access from this option and uh, you will not uh, sometimes see your parameters uh, in the first uh, go 
say see more and then you will when you scroll down you will see your uh, parameters so what you can do is you can um, access those parameters um, uh, and then you can uh, display them over here um, so let's save it right uh, <coughs> now I want to test this workflow so I can use test option over here uh, I need to manually trigger this workflow now so when I say test you will see there is a form and there are three mandatory fields and and one optional field as well so let's um, provide some input uh, and then uh, we we'll say uh, planned um, uh, let's say vacation and then hit run flow and then my workflow ran successfully let's come back over here select the compose and then if you look at the output section you will see from date to date the user and the reason right so all the information are uh, listed here so you, uh, so basically this proves that you can capture uh, input parameters when you are initiating a process um, when there is no power apps forms or sharepoint or any other uh, triggers uh, connected or, or involved um, in your process so as the next step we'll talk about how we can customize this um, uh, the way the, the way we want uh, so uh, just like in normal programming uh, we can use different contracts uh, uh, different constructs so in programming we have constructs such as uh, arithmetic uh, logical comparison uh, string manipulation uh, uh, functions and operators um, to perform those activities so similarly in, in power automate we do have expressions um, for manipulating strings dates um, and performing arithmetic operations logical operations um, uh, so those expressions will come really uh, handy uh, when you want to uh, perform some uh, business uh, operations or custom logic so I'm going to um, uh, go into the edit mode add another compost uh, over here um, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this one as uh, customize the uh, output message so this is the name of my compost action now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the compose uh, action instead of enter data from previous step I'm going to select insert expressions uh, so let's start small so you'll understand how uh, we can use expressions in, in uh, various ways now when you when you select this expression you will be automatically taken to functions page there are two pages a dynamic content and functions in functions you will see there are different categories of expressions string functions logical functions and then mathematical functions um, date and time functions workflow so there are so many functions available uh, either you can search by the name if you know the name or you can uh, directly start typing and then it will provide the intelligence and auto completion so I will say concat to con concatenate two strings um, the first string is you can say user um, now I want to capture the user that uh, uh, provided uh, when we are initiating the workflow how do you do that go to dynamic content and then you will uh, be able to access the user here right you can say user um, and whatever the username uh, has applied for a leave okay so that's basically the expression uh, so I'm using concat uh, expression to con to concatenate multiple uh, strings 
Um, so let's uh, try to add this and then save. Um, now I can test the workflow. So I can test manually. Um, let me add from date to date as these are mandatory. Um, and then give a reason. Okay. Run the flow. Um, and then uh, it ran successfully. Uh, we can go and select this compose uh, action now and look at the output right user with a space whatever the username has applied for a link right nice so now i'm going to go and customize this further um let's uh, go to edit mode select this expression and i can say user whoever the username has applied for a leave starting from and then I need the date basically from date comma for okay I need to have quotes um, right uh, for right what I want now is the duration so you can say date difference right so you can use expression inside expression so I need to get from date to to date difference and this right. so let's see um, whether we can update the expression let me open it again the user whoever the username has applied for a leave starting from the start date for the day difference between the from and to that will give the difference this right let's update and try to save it and if there is a an error in the expression so we will not be able to save it you will get a um, message in the red color and then let's say test to test it manually now here actually you don't have to enter everything manually every time when you um, <coughs> test the workflow Manually, you can say automatically, and then you can say with the recent trigger used. So then you can select the last um, test data and then say test. Right. So I think uh, remember what we entered last. Uh, okay, it's executed successfully. Uh, now you'll see a nice output, right? User Joy has applied for a leave starting from 15th December for five days right so similarly you can um, try and change the date format you can try and change this number you can add more data right uh, so that's how you can make use of the strings uh, 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 string uh, concatenate and date functions and uh, random number generation mathematical or whatever right so i hope this um, demo is useful so we discuss how we can make use of input parameters as well as how we can use the powerful expressions framework available in Power Automate um, to manipulate your uh, data. Um, thank you. Hope to see you again.